I would like to think that you're saying let's get ready to rumble because I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep taking my shots at a at Ace Attorney here. Our boy our boy Mr. Ace Attorney. That's his name, right? Where's the fucking there it is. <laughs> Where's the game? Where is the game? That's where I learned that the audio. Okay, audio's on. I was worried there for a sec. When's the last time I played Ace Attorney? It was a little while ago. There's, a, I've had a, I had a somewhat off week this week. I think, I kind of, for lack of a better term, slacked a bit. Okay, it wasn't even like it was less than a week ago. I'm fine. I'm too harsh on myself. <clears throat> All right, it's Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Stream number three for this game. Stream number 13, I think, for the series so far. And beginning of, I always say chapter two. They call them episodes. Should I update the cat? Should I update the title of this? I, I don't I don't want to be um I hate being wrong about things. Yeah. That was no accident. Oh shit, a car scene. I was drugged with sleeping pills. Who who is it? I was mur <coughs> I was murdered by that person. What an unfortunate time to call. Ooh, that's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? In it? In it? In it? I finally get to see you again and Wait, what's happening? Oh, I gotta press X. I was like, I thought we were still on the auto scrolling. It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did it. I killed that person. What? We're doing this again? Uh. <coughs> oh. God. Fuck. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. All right, starting off great. Starting off great. Can't believe something like this happened. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess. Keep playing through my mind. Oh, I thought he was like saying that as like directive. Like, you keep playing through my mind. June 16th. Oh, it's fairly recent. Or soon. 3.30. Excuse me, God. Three, four. Ugh. I ate like two hours ago, but I still feel full. It's like coming back. It's gross. 3.34 p.m. Wright & Co. Law Offices. Oh, who is this? Oh, Silver Fox Skunk Tail Hair. What depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me? Do you? Uh, I guess? But actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at that weather girl on TV. I think our little rainy spell will take a break with the day of sun. Is that... is what that girl said? I would stake my life on it. Well, uh, well, well it's the weather. But that's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve calling herself a weather girl. She's going to hear about my $1,500 suit. Um, about your case? Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Remind me never to end up under his knife. 
I'm here today because of this incident. Malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 14 inpatients... Oh, uh, malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 14 inpatients lose their lives. I already feel out of practice of reading. If I don't read after a couple days, I forget how to read. I don't read ever on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, you're the doctor at... It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting! Yes, yes, I heard you. I agree. It's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. The one that screwed up was that nurse. It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. And yet... Now listen good. And yet... That nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to her wrongdoing. She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me. And this is the kicker. She up and has herself a grand old accident, crashes her car. Smash, crunch, instantly transforming her car into the accordion model. That's right. About a year ago, all the tabloid shows were talking about it. 14 victims of medical malpractice in the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused that ac er, that crash. People said it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. Why would I? Now, I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed those 14 patients, not me. I think you need to take- uh, I think you need to take a deep breath, doctor, and focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple, because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic. Let me adjust my glasses again. You don't say. For me, I don't think I'd want to go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Um, you do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? No, this is something only you can do. Maya Faye. You know this girl, correct? Maya? Why would he know her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Well, yes. I mean, hey, wait a second here. I worked under her? Yes. Am I wrong? She told me, so I'm not quite sure if... Well, we worked a few trials together, but she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, yes, I heard. Must be lonely for you. But, what? Wait, I'm not... She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Huh? I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sorts of things. She's the one who introduced me to Miss Faye. Is Maya really that famous? And I've already set up an appointment. For what? What else? A channeling. I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Uh, oh. Maya, I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of the Fae Clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. That's what she told me. I guess she's learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Not continuing training. This will be her first time channeling a spirit, or not counting train, whatever. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright. She said that she wouldn't do the channeling without first seeing you again. Me? And that is why I've searched you out. You want to see her too, don't you? I mean... And so, that is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. June 19th, 1.25pm. Kurain Village. Oh, it's lovely. Ah, oh, fuck. They, bro they brought back the fucking annoying bird noise. It's like so, just, I don't know why it irks me so much, 
but it's just so like out of like not out of place but it's so like distinct and like just random enough and just breaks the silence enough where it's actually like it's like an interrupting noise almost to like my thoughts and my reading it's it annoys me <sighs> so this is Korean village Maya's hometown and we got a baby we got a straight up baby what? why hello there Oh no, I'm gonna have to voice her. Ah. Oh. oh, maybe she's mute. Maybe she doesn't talk. I can hope. She hasn't said anything yet, so we're we're in the clear. Hmm, what an odd little girl. Hey, wait up, Pearly. Hmm. Someone else is coming this way. Nick. M Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd really show up. It's not that big a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated. Just a little. It was only two hours by train. If I had known you were this close, I would have visited more. No, you're not allowed. I already decided, you know. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh. Well. Anyway, congratulations. Glad your training is going well for you. Heh. 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 It looks like you finally become a full-fledged medium, taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? Haha, <laughs> behold the power of the My Intelligence Network. Let's see, 14 people died because of malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse, he killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. Huh? Um... So what is this My Intelligence Network anyway? The tablets. That's what I thought. Haha, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazed killer as a client. That's too scary, even for me. Yeah, I guess so. So, this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep. Curian Village. But I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Interesting. So, everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much. Most of my ancestors were, too, I think. It's probably true, since the Fae ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. So, what do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. Oh, yeah, I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly. Pearly? Pearl Fay. She's my cousin. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. Cousin? Wait, and that means... Is she also a... Yep, she's a medium too. Pearly's a real genius when it comes to channel. Hmm, I see. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled it into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. S suspicious looking? Well, you're not wearing training clothes, for starters. Of course not. Pearly is my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Curian Village. Aunt? Pearly's mother's my aunt. Duh. Come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I've got to get going. It's about time for the channeling to start. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, we can grow up some juicy borders. Alright, good luck, Maya. Thanks. You go get them, Maya. I'm going to move my mic down a bit so I can sit a bit more relaxed. A bit more relaxed, a little less erect, you know? Get into that reading mode. Well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. Do I need to look at things? Oh, the fucking birds. I need to I need to just move out of here. I don't want to hear the birds anymore. June nineteenth, Fay Manor. Meditation room. I was so ready to just view some of the things on that scene. And I started hearing the birds. I'm like, nope. Must leave rooms. Ah, oh, Mr. Wright, I'm so glad you showed. 
It's a nice weather we're having today. Aren't you happy? No, not at all. <laughs> he was complaining about the weather for one day, and then Phoenix just assumes that that's his personality. <laughs> like, that's all he cares about. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. It will rain cats and dogs today, she said with a straight face. I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public airwaves. Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. But anyway, this is a splendid manner. No argument there. It's hard to believe that this is my house, though. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright, I have a copy for you, too. A diagram of Bay Manor. Let's take a look. It's in a book. Channeling chamber, meditation room, winding way, side room, Fay Manor guide map, partial. Great. So what are you gonna do once the nurse's spirit has been called? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. A signed confession? Yes, a confession. I know how ghosts work. Pay attention. I'll have her write this. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then, on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. Negligence, negligence, negligence. I'm sorry, and I apologize for being negligent. That's what I'll have her write. With a confession, the rain falling on my soul can finally stop. Uh, oh, I see. So, how did you hear about Maya Fey? I heard about her from an acquaintance, a girl studying the occult at the college. A girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Korean School of Channel. The home, huh? And Miss Maya is a daughter of the master, I hear. Master? Anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Miss Maya's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Would I care? Would I? June 19th, Fay Manor, Channel Chamber. Wow, such a strange atmosphere in here. These flickering lights. I guess they're candles. <laughs> No, Phoenix, what, what else would they be, you fucking knob? Good sir, who might you be? Uh, uh, I'm, uh, oh, intimidated by your hair. Uh, my name is Phoenix, right? Oh, you must be that good sir. Good sir? Is she talking about me? You are a lawyer, are you not, good sir? I've heard much about you from Mystic Maya. Is that so? Mystic Maya? <laughs> I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. Nice to meet you. Ah, I had wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you asked too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? What? Huh? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. That was not, that it was not, that was it not for Mystic Maya and her assistants, you would surely not have won. First a girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job. When did I become the poster boy for how not to make a first impression? The past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Uh, thank you. So why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir. Yes? How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya. Uh, I'm sorry? She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Um, uh, so about Mystic Maya, uh, it is the blood. <laughs> Excuse me? Blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the Master. In actuality, she is the only one remaining. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the curing channeling technique. Okay. Then... 
Where do you stand? That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fey Clan, I'm merely a member of the Branch family. Branch family? What's that? Phoenix has only spoken in question marks for like the past five minutes in this game. He is very confused about everything. It is as it sounds. For a member of the Branch family, no matter her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Curing School. So, how strong are you? It is a shame. However, I will admit, I cannot even begin to compare the loneliness of my powers to the Master's. So that's how it is. Okay, moving on. So, today's channeling will be your first? Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident is usually very strong. It is usually easier to call that person to our world. Traffic accident, indeed. Uh, the channeling will take place here, in this channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing, and taking many sips from my weird cup. What am I drinking? Goo? Straight up, goop? Like, I can't tell if that the, the part of the outside, you know, towards the top of the cup, is, like, design? Or if that is, like, supposed to be, like, liquid buildup. So this, ch uh, this I was doing a hand motion for like <laughs> five seconds there. It's not like anyone can see what I'm doing. Uh, this room is the channeling chamber. The place where spirit medium speaks with those who have departed. I don't suppose you'd mind if we observe the session. Do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Uh, oh. The secrets of the curing techniques cannot be seen by just anybody. I never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. It is also for your safety, good sir, if anything were to go wrong. That is why, while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's what the lock is for. Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She is an adorable, angelic young girl. How did he already forget her name? Come on, Phoenix. Oh, that odd. She is my daughter. Now then, what was it you were about to say? Uh, what a cute daughter you have. Uh -huh, uh huh. A pure heart that knows not of the evils in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. Well, it's not like I had the chance to anyway. I must insist and stress that you not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it. Fuck off. Goodbye. June 19th, Fay Manor, Winding Way. Wow, this garden is really breathtaking. Someone put a lot of love into it. What is that over there? Is that an incinerator? Looks a little out of place in a garden like this. It's a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here to tiny villages like this. So every family has to burn their own trash. A splendid garden with a small lamp and traditional decorations. It's a bit small to walk around in. Although, that incinerator piques my curiosity. We already looked at it though, Phoenix. What do you mean? Don't say that. It's a really old urn. The ashes of a person long dead are inside. He, like, opens up and inhales some of it. Looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting, so time to move on. Alright, so it seemed as if there was nothing important here. How exciting that room was. June 19th, Fay Manor, side room. So this is the side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. There's bedding spread out on the floor. Looks like someone's sleeping in one. I shouldn't disturb them. Disturb. There's bedding spread out on the floor. Is that someone sleeping in one over there? She's probably an exhausted medium taking a break and catching some Z's. If I wake her up, she might be grumpy and throw a spell on me. Because that's what mediums do. They throw spells. 
They're basically wizards. It's probably a good idea to not disturb her sleep. Okay. <laughs> then I guess I will get out of here. <laughs> hey, you, hold on now. This gal's got a few questions to ask. Hmm? I've heard that southern accent somewhere before. Oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're just bringing all the worst characters back to this game. Thank God. Oh, well, I'll be. It's Mr. Phoenix Wright. How you been? Haven't seen you in what? A year? Um, you are, uh, a lot of heart, right? A lot of hair. You're a lot of heart, right? Bingo! I'm the one and only paranormal photo photo photographer. Lot of heart. Ah, so I guess you're still at it. Being a photographer, I mean. Of course. And today, I'm gonna get myself a real scoop. You wait and see. Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. The channeling's about to get started. Is it that time already? We all should hurry up and get to the meditation room. What are you waiting around for? Come on. Uh, come on. A lot of heart, huh? Been judging her harshly because of that case. Where she was just fucking lying to us. Straight up lying in a courtroom. Bad person. But, I guess looking back, we had some good times too. Fuck off. Get out of here. Just, just get out of here. June 19th, Bay Manor, Meditation Room. We will now begin the channeling. Mystic Maya, an honored guest, please proceed into the channeling chamber. With this, I can finally swat all those pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. Except for my dopey hair. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Me? Oh, uh, yeah, sure would. Miss Sick Maya, do you have the channeling chamber key? Yep, right here. That is most satisfactory. I was gonna say something. I was. I'm gonna. So I, uh, the way we get, we're like foreshadowed at the beginning of the the chapter here or episode. Uh, something probably goes down and happens, right? I think, and that's why we like weirdly are getting like the map to this place as part of like evidence, and then we're being shown the key thing here because the key is probably going to be a part of evidence, probably. Like, why else would they be talking about the key if it wasn't going to be like a thing? But I digress. That key is one of a kind, so please take care of it well. It's very important. I will stress, it is very important. Take note, player, of how important it is. It'll be fine, Aunt Morgan. I won't lose it, trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray, let's get started. Finally, let's go. Let's a uh, go. Click. Now let us wait patiently patiently out here for them. Please have some lovely bitter green tea and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Uh, hold on now, Granny. Granny? How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear Madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland. Is that so? Then I humbly request you to return to this heart of the heartland. Get the fuck away from here. But uh, what are ya? <laughs> that was a weird way of me saying that. Uh, this is Kurain Village. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. Sorry. Sorry. Wow, she shut lot up. Now that's impressive. Now then, let us wait. For something bad to happen. Bang! Hey now! Hey now, this is what dreams are made of. What was that just now? It came from inside the channeling chamber. Bang! Hey, uh, that's a gunshot. 
Excuse me? I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I bent my afro on it. M Maya? Maya's in there. Uh, Break into it. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what's the plan? What else? We're gonna break in. What? But but there's only one key and that kid's got it. We're gonna have to break it. Uh, we're gonna have to break it. Why did it fade like that? We're going to have to break the door. Is that alright, Miss Faye? Well, yes, but there's one matter. That is... Don't try to stop me. You can send the repair bill to Wright & Co. Law Offices later. Yeah, now that's what I call being a man. Slam. Slam, slam, cram. Dead man. Die hard man. From the hit 2019 video game, Death Stranding. Speaking of Death Stranding, there are r more and more rumors about Death Stranding 2 being a thing by Kojima. I would love it. Honestly, give me another one. Fuck it. I don't care. I loved I loved Death Stranding in 2019, and no one can convince me otherwise. It is a good game. D Dr. Gray. Click. I I was murdered. Wait, what the fuck is happening? Oh, this is her channeling. Probably the... I see. M Maya? That man murdered me. So I killed him. W what? Click. Click. Lotta, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But, but, hurry before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go, city boy. Leave this to the granny. Call me granny one more fucking time. Addition. Bring back Von Karma. Bring back Von Karma so that I can go. Addiction. 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 A million more times, please. I miss. I miss him. June nineteenth, Curane Village. My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here, so I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. And they're on their way. That's good. Lottie, I saw a, gen a genuine mysterious phenomenon. Phenomenon, phenomenon, phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Hey, mister. That gal, Maya. She wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Lotta doesn't know that when Maya's channeling, her whole physical appearance... Okay. Okay, this answers my question. I always... I was always under the belief that the reason we saw Maya's physical appearance change was as like a... a like a... like an out-of-game indicator to us. And it was like a smart way of presenting that she was currently channeling someone. Right? Like that to me makes more sense. And I think is like a better explanation for it almost. Like us who knows Maya and who knew Mia. Right? Like if we see... Like it's a very... In my opinion it was a clever way of, of like Phoenix seeing Mia in Maya. Does that make sense? So when she was channeling her... Phoenix could feel Mia's presence. You know? But no, with this sentence, we finally I finally am told here. Her whole physical appearance changes. So I mean I'm not gonna sit here and get mad because it's a it's like a super I don't want supernatural things in my very silly game. But also like Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly, it's fine. 
her whole physical appearance changes. And then again, weren't there only the two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. I'm pretty sure saying that the medium was channeling a spirit will hold up in court. And that the spirit using Maya's body was uh, decided to kill that person. Also, side note, good thing that person died because I don't have to do that dumb voice he had anymore. So that's cool. Uh, Lotta, uh, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I heard he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. Soon as his nurse or patients didn't, uh, don't do what he says, he starts to holler. And must have been real rough work for him. Okay, well. Let's uh, go back here. June 19th, Fay Manor, meditation room. Uh, Mr. Wright. Miss Fay, how's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She is still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. Guess I just have to wait. Sigh. Aw, oh, fuck. The police are here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? You again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? I'm the only detective, detective, police detective. <laughs> Forgot the word detective there for a second. Wait, uh, uh, it's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just the title, right? Why is he grinning at me? Why is he being weird? Shall I show you the scene of the crime, Detective Gum Sh Jim Shu? Um, my name isn't Jim Shu. It's another stupid name. The two of them went into the channeling chamber. Guess all I can do for now is see what everyone else has to say. So let me move screen to screen, and I will go and talk to people. June 19th, Fay Manor, channeling chamber. Police are busily running here and there, and I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey, you! Don't touch anything! Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal, I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright? Thanks. Um, about Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but with the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room, after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Just a gumshoe looks like a real professional. Wait, does he? Really? And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead, but... But? But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. A knife? Basically, the Vic was first stabbed, then he was shot. Alright. Well. Who's sleeping in the side room? Who is sleeping in the side room? June 19th, Fay Manor side room. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Oh, who is, the fuck is this? Ah, uh, I'm, uh, that is, I... Um, like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like, the channeling? Channeling? Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, uh, no. Actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but there's been a murder. Um, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? I... <laughs> I have the brain of a like a, a first grader. Yes, a person has killed another person. Oh, that's uh what are the words I'm looking for? It's like like totally a bummer. Yeah. All that effort, that's all she had to say. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to like introduce myself. My name is Any Mini. Oh, Um, at the college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology. That's right. Um, I think people, like, usually call it occult studies or something. Like, supernatural phenomenon, ESP, and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. That's pretty out there. I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney of law. Can you... Can you hold still? Can you, why do you have to... Okay. You just keep doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> uh, so what brings you here today? Um, like, so... I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? Hmm. Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Because, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. I see. Then why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Huh? I'm, like, allergic to sesame seeds. <laughs> they, like, must have put some in the food they served for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I, like, felt sick and came in here to, like, sleep. I totally feel like I've wasted my time because I, like, slept a long time. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like, what? Oh, that, I, like, totally know nothing. So who was, like, you know... Killed the surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray? <laughs> Doesn't phase her. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? Uh, I don't know any Dr. Gray. That was strange. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Oh, well, uh, like a long, long time ago. I was like a patient. Yeah. Sounds like she's trying to hide something. I will present you this. Like, I'm really sorry, but I'm not all that smart. So I don't, like, get it. Hmm. Why does it feel like she's just putting on an act? Why is she so strange? Okay. So. Guess I'll just leave. June 19th. Bay Manor, Winding Way. Uh, there's no one here, as usual. Except her. Ah, uh, hey, how are you? How are you? You're Pearl, right? Hmm. Silent as ever. Uh, what's that she's got in her hand? I've seen it somewhere before. Um, what is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough. Oh shit, she moved. Where'd she go? Fuck, I needed the key. Shit. Um, fuck. What is it? Is my hair too spiky? <laughs> It's not very funny the second time. 
Well, now where did she go? Where'd you go? I miss you so. Seems like June nineteenth, Curane Village. She's probably scared of her wits after having a murder take place right by her. Lotta? God damn! Don't let her be next. Yeah. Don't scare me like that with uh, your all caps. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me. If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine. Uh, did you see or notice anything that stuck out to you? Uh, stuck out at you? Nah. Well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Huh? What? <laughs> Curses and ghosts and gargoyles and goblins and stuff coming back to you get ya. This is just too much, I say. What is too much? Being a cult photographer. That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. Going after photos more within your reach from now. Oh, well, going after, uh, uh, photos more within your reach from now on. More glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh, yeah. Uh, what is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Click, click. Remember? Click, boom. Uh, uh she did. Two even. The seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. L Lotta. Sorry. My journalistic sense is burning inside me. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to the scoop of the century. You are... I don't know what was happening there. I might have actually skipped a, a, a box. And of course, this game doesn't have the modern convenience of having a text log or anything, which should, at this point, come standard for visual novels and story-based games, honestly. Uh, I don't know who's scarier, Lotta or the spirits. Why does it feel like we've been through this before? All right, I'll go back to the meditation room. At this point, I just want the game to send the people to me to talk to them. Don't make me even move in between the rooms. Just fucking have the people. I just have Phoenix station himself at a central location of each like scene, basically, of each chapter of each episode. And just have the different characters come talk to him. I might honestly prefer that. <laughs> June 19th, Faye Manor, meditation room. Oh, dear madam, you have such impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? Ahem. All right, everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, looks like the investigation is not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fay Manor tonight. Okay. What a mess. can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. June 20th, 8.02 a.m. Fay Manor, meditation room. Stop, birds. Yawn. Ugh, morning. Guess I must have nodded off at some point. Slept in my suit, probably. Hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center. ASAP. June 20th, 10.34 a.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. N nick Nick! I... Maya? What am I going to do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, first time I met her, it all started right here, in this detention center. I finally, I finally get to see you again and, oh, no flashback. It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. Doesn't matter. Might as well have been me. I was too weak and I, I couldn't control the spirit's power. So I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but 
You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. So you're the master or something of the Curian School Channeling? Actually, my mother is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real. It's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. When Maya's channeling a spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... <laughs> uh, Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. Uh, what exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes, and I began the channeling. It sounded kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself. You gotta lose yourself in the music. The, the moment, the body, the channeling. You better never let it go. <laughs> Harrison Ford under the floorboard. Okay, I lose myself in my consciousness. Then, then you don't remember a single thing. When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? A dream. What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move. And it was unbearable, really suffocating. It went something like that. I... I see. I have no idea what to say to that. It was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I smelled that sa uh, same scent before. Guess this is about all the information I'm going to gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty, I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. But I did, I killed that person. With these... Two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it. <laughs> Shut it. Help me. Help me, I'm poor. Uh, Nick, help me, I'm scared. Don't worry, I will. When is the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. What a fucking unjust world is this? Alright, I'm going now. Wait. This jewel. This is called a ma Magatama. Magatama. Fucking, I've seen this word before. I don't know if I'm saying it right. It's a magical charm, and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Magatama received from Maya. Slightly translucent. It's small, but it has a deep, profound aura about it. Profound. It's profound. June 20th, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Phew. Feels like I've been gone forever. But it's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Ah, here it is, right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. Newspaper clipping one, added to the court record. One year ago on May 2nd, 14 patients died from malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. Guess I had to go and pick that up. June 20th, Curian Village. I have to save Maya, no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened in that room yesterday? What could have happened? 
June 28th, Faye Manor, Meditation Room. Meditation Room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'm pretty sure. But it's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. Blah, blah. <laughs> June 20th, Faye Manor, Channeling Chamber. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. I should take this chance and thoroughly check this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Uh. Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I am on my way to go meet Mystic Maya, and I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea so bitter you lose your tongue in jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. I'm sure, Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir. Oh, uh, she's one scary lady. Oh dear, sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as did I. I know it's important for me to search the site, but I should ask her some questions too while I have the chance. I'd like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? That man murdered me. So I killed him. But Maya, step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Strange. Uh, what happened here in this room after I left? Well, first I struck Mr. My Mystic Maya on the head to make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next, I perform the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique? The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in the court of law. Uh, by the way, what is this room exactly? The channeling chamber? Question mark. This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes, when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, the spirit may become violent and revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps aside. To put another way, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous and, like, not well thought out? An experienced medium has little problem controlling a spirit. But Maya, I mean, Mystic Maya, that was her first channel. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that I would be calling danger upon the client himself. Where'd the gun come from? I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. And that would be... That folding screen there, and the gun. It is the Curian Sacred Writings. Along with the Curian Sacred Urn, they are this village's most treasured possessions. If I ever found out that something had happened to either one. Oh, the humanity. Odd for her to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. Guess this isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. So, how is Pearl today? Mr. Wright. Yes? In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. Th that's very impressive. Until now, the women of the Branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, it's even greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is a channeling progeny, is the pride of the Branch family. Wow, she's really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours. Perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? What are you talking about? Why are you so weird? It's a beautiful and expensive folding tree. It also looks quite old. Uh, there seems to be some... Oh, shit. Oh, a good yawn there. Uh, some sort of sacred text written on it. But I can't read it. Because I'm dumb. Th this is... It's a hole. Could this have been made by a boy? Oh, shit, folding screen. About eight inches off the ground is a small hole that looks like a bullet hole. Well, Ben, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. 
You found the bullet hole in the screen. I must leave now. All right, please don't mind to say hi. What was that? Uh, I mean, uh, Mystic Maya, of course. I will tell her. Sigh. Can I slide? Yeah, I can. Slide. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels on this floor. The straw on the floor feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. No matter what I do, my eyes keep getting drawn to the pool of blood in the center here. Oops, uh, head out. Head out. June 20th, Fay Manor, winding way. Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school? School? Is this the urn that she said was like a thing or was it back in that room I don't know was it back with the screen as well June 20th Faye Manor side room oh hey like you're that guy from yesterday the dentist guy no no I'm a lawyer oh that's right I'm uh, Mr. Smith Esquire that's right Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith. Right. Well, I got like three letters at least. <laughs> okay. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? So, like, I study this thing called parapsychology at this college, and, um, you told me about that yesterday. The sesame allergy, too? What I'd really, oh, what I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really. That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? Oh, so, like, what was I talking about again? Those sesame seeds. Those bastards. Sorry, just my headphones here. Uh, Phoenix, dot, dot, dot. If Lot ever wanted another genuine mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. She's standing in front of me. So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like, what? Like, the medium's training? Or, like, how they inherit their spiritual power? I suppose. So it is the real thing after all. So like, I asked if I could stay here for like a little longer. She sort of seems like the carefree type, at least on the surface. Have you heard about the murder? It's like, totally scary. She says with a silly small plastered on her face. So do you know anything about it that might help? Jesus, why am I yawning? It's, it's been a long Friday. I'll admit. It's been a long Friday. Okay. Uh, somehow, I don't think she has a grip on reality. Let alone what's going on here. She is dumb. So, about the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait. I think you asked about him, like, yesterday, too. That's right. Her reaction yesterday when I asked was strange. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? <laughs> I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh, like a long, long time ago, I was like a patient. Yeah. Patient. Okay, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Yeah, a lot of things. Can I present this to her? Okay. Wait, what did it say there? Like, I'm sorry, but... Anything about giving us to you. Okay. Strange. Um, 
All right, well, I guess I leave. Goodbye. Okay, is this gonna be the little girl? June 20th, Faye Manor, winding way. Ack, you surprised me. And how are you today? Hmm, guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Huh, she's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. I present to you this. Oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. Ah, I'm in trouble now. Uh, if Morgan sees us like this, uh, I'll be the next one they're channeling. Uh, that, that's, that's Mystic Maya's. Huh? She actually spoke. Darn. Who are you? Uh, I'm Phoenix, right? I, uh, worked with Maya. Y you worked with Mystic Maya? You, you're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? Bet I know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're, you're Mystic Maya's special someone. What, 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 what? So then, of course, you're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? Well, yeah, I will, totally. Oh, wow. It's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest looks shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. Wait, 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 wait. Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Ah, what a wonderful relationship. I don't know why I went with this voice. Oh, wait. I, uh, I mean, uh, we aren't, uh, things aren't like... Hee <laughs> hee. I can tell you're a good person. All right, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. Great. Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I have no idea Maya was so revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Uh, oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because, because you're special to her. Where in the world did she get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes. For example, I study the curing technique. Uh, I get it. Uh, no, no, no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. The lawyer technique. Lawyer? Yep. Is that really the spirit mediums in any way? Um, none that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. I just remember, I gotta set myself a reminder on my phone for tomorrow morning. Bear with me one moment, because I'm gonna wake up, and I'm not gonna remember anything. I'm not gonna remember anything. Okay. Just had to do a thing. I apologize. I I hate you know me. I love interrupting my own streams. Because only professional here. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, but I have no idea. I did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. She's sheltered. 
So, what's that you got there, Pearl? I almost said pow. I'm so used to the comma P word being pow from Gumshoe. I've been trained. Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm. If you want it, I can give it to you. Yes. Alright, well, if you really want to give it to me. Hee <laughs> hee. You look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. Black key. An old steel key. A green jewel is set in the center of the key's grip. God, Phoenix doesn't remember shit. He doesn't remember Pearl. He doesn't remember fucking the key. He doesn't remember anything. Memory. Bad. Uh, um, Mr. Nick... Yes, Pearls? I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. That's weird to say, but okay. It's like a phoenix. What are you freaking doing? It's silly. Uh, sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Mag Magadama? Magadama? M Maggot -ama? I'm just saying it all the ways to catch it. Whatever's the correct way. If it's one of those, then I said it. And then just say, act, think, act, act and think like I've said it correct the whole way. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? She starts, like, summoning a fucking, like... Kamehameha wave ball in her fucking hand. Uh, please take this. I'm sure it'll be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. See people's secrets? Is this gonna be a new game mechanic? A new game mechanic here? A chapter di uh, mechanic? Yes. It's if it's all right with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Mike Thomas power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret, which is everyone. Everyone's got secrets. All right, well, let's go uh, into here. June 20th, Fay Manor, side room. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Oh, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No. How old do you think I am? I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. Uh, I like totally don't know him. Boom. Oh shit, fucking she's fucking chained up. I about to sh send her to the shadow realm or something. Right? This is what <laughs> happens when she... <laughs> uh, what is that? She's locked up and dancing still. Question marks. You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's heart? Huh? What? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see these psych locks, Mr. Nick. Psyche locks? Psych, psych. Mr. Nick. Psyche locks, huh? I, psy, saying psyche sounds weird. Is it psych lock? I mean, it's just psych, right? I don't know what I'm actually expecting to find here when I search how to pronounce. Do you think there's like a game facts thread that's like oh shit there is one it's a reddit thread all right we trust reddit people our ace attorney i've seen a lot of people pronounce psych lock as psych lock this is wrong the correct pronunciation is psyche lock thank you for your time says the uh original post and then the first top comment says, no, it's pronounced Psycho Lock. What? 
And someone said, sure, correct, but I think we can all agree that psych lock sounds better. Okay, so if I'm to believe the Reddit of a R Ace Attorney, it is Psyche Lock. So I'm right. I was right for once at the very beginning. Psyche Locks, huh? The more someone wants to hide their secrets, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person, and let's remove the lock. I have no idea what she's talking about, but guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, gotta start somewhere. Let's give this Psyche Lock thing a try. Okay, well, I guess I'll figure it out. I'm going to ask you again. Did you know Dr. Gray? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. Boom. Get locked. Okay, this girl is hiding something. I'm sure of it. Guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. Alright, so first I have to use Maya's Magatama. Oh, do I have to actually... Do I do this? Do I actually present it? <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little thrown off by this mechanic. Uh, do I present it? Oh, get fucked. Okay, so I actually use the thing for some reason. This is strange. I'm just gonna say it. This is strange already. <sighs> the victim. Oh shit. Any mini. I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. Oh, so this looks so with the health bar and everything, this is basically a trial section outside of the trial. Right? So it's basically I'm just doing the trial mechanic in the investigation phase. I guess. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? Well, it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Also, you said his name, like, yesterday to me. That you knew him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I don't know that big word try to show that the possibility existed for now. Hmm, so something that shows a possible connection between Innie and Dr. Gray. Uh. Uh. Here's your proof. Like, what is that? Ouch. Guess it doesn't have anything to do with it, huh? Oh shit, I'm hurting myself. Great. Pearls did warn me. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you, she said. If you don't have enough evidence, I should probably stop. Should take another look at the court record. Think it through one more time. I don't think I have a thing. Do I? How do I stop? I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Alright, well, I thought this was supposed to be the tutorial for the Psyche Locks, but... I've learned better. June 20th, Fay Manor, Meditation Room. Hey, it's you, pal! So you're gonna be her lawyer, I bet? Yes. Oh! I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. <laughs> hey, you're a cute kid. <laughs> Stare at him. Stare into his soul. Make him feel bad. 
Ha ha ha. Oh, I'm not scary. Honest. Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Uh, hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real genuine pistol. De Detective Gumshoe, what are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh, sorry. Fucking idiot. Uh, so what about Maya and the charges against her? Oh, I don't think you can win, pal. You're talking about proof. You got a few pieces. You got proof? Yeah, pal. The puffy air photographer's going to testify tomorrow. Must be talking about Lotta. Actually, speaking of Lotta. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, southern accent. Um, I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? Took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Go away. Get off my screen. Uh, a lot of hot pictures. Wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? Uh, about Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who she was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year and... Huh? Could have sworn I had... I cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. He's searching through his pockets, and boy are those big. Huh. It looks really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. Oh, I should probably show him that then. Uh, about my trial tomorrow. I got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. All right, pal. Well, prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. Wait. Wait, Von Karma? Objection. Objection. Does, is he come back? Does he come back? Do I get to do Objection. again? What? Von Karma? Manfred Von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in the four years of his career. He raised a fearsome disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. Wait a sec. But didn't Von Karma stand trial and... That's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Successor? Successor? So, um, who is this successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. His kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Hmm, kid, huh? Oh, wait a second. Th th 13? Kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13? I mean, prodigy like that, I would have heard something about. Oh, no, no. Kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. That country's got a lot of stuff and is a great place to develop a person's talents. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh, still. All it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Stop it. Get a grip on yourself, Phoenix. None of that matters anymore, now that he's gone. Okay, uh, he wants this. Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day and... Hey! Is that news story? The one about the malpractice suit? Fourteen patients died and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I brought my own clip in with me today. Here, pal. This is for you. Alright. 
Thanks. Mimi Mini, nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic, died after falling asleep at the wheel. Um, um, related much? Related much? Related much? <laughs> no, not the bird noises. Fuck off. Uh, where do I go here? And then... There we go. Alright, here we fucking go. I think with this clipping, we got the thing. God, it's so dramatic. Alright, let's remove the lock. Let's use the mag- Oh, shit. I have to fucking- Oh, God. Why do I have to use this thing first? It's such a- So dumb. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, uh, catch it, tiger, buy the toe. Okay, here we go. And you mean, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? Well, it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? Sh show that the possibility existed for now. Hmm, so something that shows a possible connection between any and Dr. Gray. Get fucked! Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident. Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Mini? Mini, it's a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Mini wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? So you noticed. She, she was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister. Was she a nurse? Perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Gray surgical clinic? I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. Oh shit, the lock's been broken. That's necessary. Oh, I'm health. I'm healed up, baby. Take that damage off me. Alright, well, I don't know if... Jury's out on that uh, mechanic. I don't know if I like that or not. <laughs> Seems kind of silly, but okay. I mean, I think it's trying to make the investigation phases a bit more dynamic. And uh, more engaging, perhaps. But then it's just basically like you're taking a little bit of what you do in the trials to the investigation phases. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But it's just an interesting decision. Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My, my sister's name was Mimi Minnie. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like, a total slave driver. My sis was, like, always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out? So is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sis so hard, so, like, that's why the accident happened. The one where 14 patients died from malpractice? Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault, too. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I've, like, already told my story to, like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psyche lock works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. No, do it, Nick. All the time. Pry. Beg. Steal. 
the lock this time was pretty easy, but you might need people who aren't as willing, me people even, who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Great. So that thing, so like, do I get any? I mean, I didn't got, get, like all I heard was have her talk about it. But she didn't like, give me like a key piece of evidence or I don't know. I don't know about that. Slide. Nope, I'm picking the wrong thing. Picking, picking, terrible navigating. Oh, oh, gotta hear some birds, aren't I? June twentieth, Curane Village. Mister Nick. Hmm. What's wrong? I have never left Curane Village. R really? Wow, that's um pretty amazing. You're going you are going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Adorable. Hey, wait. She ran off. Again. Well, I know any secret now, but I just don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. Sigh. Sigh. June 20th, detention center, visitor's room. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? The, that voice. Oh, is it, is it Mia? It is. M Mia? Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Do, 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 do. Mia, she's Maya's older sister and my mentor. And she's dead. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. <laughs> it's just a joke I was cooking up. <laughs> Fuck off, Phoenix. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help just like this spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. She's scolding me from beyond the realm of the living. Uh, a lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Mia, you can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. But, but... So, tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. How'd you know? I told her everything about what had happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes, deep in thought, while she listened. Uh, I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. Uh, and that is? Tell me, please. Believe in your convictions and fight for the complete acquittal of your client. Thanks. Uh, you think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is, and I'll give you a hint as to why. Y yes Mediums can't have dreams. They can't? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah, she says she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure, when a medium channels her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then, what does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A set up? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. Uh, how am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. Uh, is it? It is? I mean, just as it sounds, Phoenix, you already hold the key. 
Really? Come on. Show me the key to this case. The key, huh? What does she mean by key? Uh... Alright, I'll show it to her. The key I hold. Boop. Boop. Key. Mia, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. Key, 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 key. This key? <laughs> Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. But... But... How can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who... Who could have... I didn't know it at the time. But this day is going to end with a turn for the surprising. Wait, what the fuck? She's got a lock? She's got three locks? Holy shit! But Mia, what, what? What's wrong? That's right, only I can see the psyche locks. Doesn't this mean she's lying to me? You're, you're lying to me. You're lying. Which means Maya must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under lock and key from even me. What in the world is going on? Whoa! Whoa! Alright, I've been yawning a bit. We should probably call it a night. It's always good to end on the in-between chapters. Or the in-between sections. The to-be-continueds. I think it makes for a good wrapping up place. It's not, obviously, a super long stream or anything, but... On a, I mean, it makes it for a nice, I think, in my head, makes for a nice consumable chunk of watching, you know, especially on the archive and stuff. So we'll go ahead and do that because then what ends up happening is if I go, it, I'm going to do the section in the, the, the you know, the trial, but it, and that's going to be like at least probably another hour and then I'm going to just be yawning the whole time. And I really got to be on top of my shit for the cases or the trial. I keep saying cases, the trials. Because not only do I have to read a bunch more, but then I actually have to try to, like, think. You know, reading and thinking at the same time, very hard for me, so. Uh, we'll probably, uh, well, not probably. We are going to call it a night here. An earlier-ish Friday night. But we did start late, anyway, because I had things I was doing. But uh, tomorrow should be tomorrow night stream. A tomorrow night stream. And I think... There's a chance there'll be a two-game stream tomorrow night, but most likely it's just going to be one. And I'm very excited to finally say we'll be starting, especially because I dropped off of attempting the 100% in Neo The World Ends With You. I will be jumping into Near Replicant tomorrow. That's right, Near Replicant. The highly talked about, always highly told, told to me I would massively like it, that it should be extremely my shit. I'm actually really looking forward to the not only playing it, but I'm also really... It's its one of those games where I'm very excited to stream it, if that makes sense. Um, obviously, it's going to be my first Nier game. Um, it is... I probably... I'm going to play Nier Replicant first. I have a copy of Nier Automata as well, but I'm probably going to play Nier Automata like a, quite some time after I finish Nier Replicant. I don't think I'm going to go back to back with the two games. But yeah, all excited... All, all to say that I'm excited for that game starting tomorrow. And... Um, yeah, I think it's going to be one of those games that I really enjoy having a time stream, having a fun time streaming. So, um, we'll get back to Phoenix right here, probably Sunday night, even possibly maybe, or Sunday at some point tomorrow, or Sunday. <laughs> my brain is so dead, I can't think. I I've, I've pushed my brain to the limit this week. I'm gonna admit it. The brain is out of energy. The brain has been sapped. Um. So yeah, we'll be back tomorrow night. Hopefully I get a good night's sleep here. And uh, I will see you tomorrow night. 
until then enjoy enjoy the enjoy the content phoenix right enjoyers